In this week's Community Spotlight, Shane Lee attempts to keep up with the youngsters at the Kiwanis Kids Triathlon in Baxter. Nearly 300 kids from ages 5 to 14 brought their swimsuits, bike helmets and running shoes to Whipple Beach Saturday for the 4th Annual Kiwanis Kids Triathlon. One of the things that we wanted to do was provide a, a fun, safe opportunity for kids to have fun first and foremost and then also uh, develop healthy, safe habits, set some goals, do some work to attain that goal and get the accomplishment of, uh, of, of completing that goal. Dylan said he loves the pre-race jitters of the kids almost as much as the smiles at the finish line. Just go fast. Some racers with more experience are happy to be back. Well, I'm competitive, but mostly I just do it for fun. No matter how much fun you're having or how competitive you are, you still need strategy. My game plan is to go all out on the swimming and then hustle into the biking. I'm going to kind of save myself on the biking, then I'm going to go all out on the running because it's the last event and you always want to finish with everything on the court. There were 14 waves of racers starting with the youngest. The 5 through 9 year old started by swimming for 25 yards, running up the beach to the bikes, riding the bikes for 2 miles and then finally running for 1 mile. The 10 through 14 year old swam for 50 yards, biked for 4 miles and finished by running 2 miles. You heard some pre-race tips earlier, but having a game plan and actually executing it are two very different things. Let's talk with winner Taylor Slamer about how he pulled it off. It was all mental. Just kept a good mindset. Knew just in case somebody was ahead of me, if there's somebody going to come close on me, I had to keep it up. Schlamer finished the race in 27 minutes and 7 seconds, about one minute faster than his nearest competitor. But regardless of what place they finished in, every racer received a medal and some well-deserved nutritious snacks for biting off a triathlon. Shane Lee, Lakeland News. If you've enjoyed this segment of Lakeland News, please consider making a tax-deductible contribution to Lakeland Public Television.